If you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union. Hello comrades and welcome back to Oshanka Show. Uh, so that was a good question. Uh, someone asked me uh, to share information about superstitions in Soviet Union. It actually made me smile because uh, I married into an American family. My wife is American. So I brought uh, quite a few superstitions from the Soviet Union, which drives my wife nuts. So uh, I would like to share those with you. I think they're pretty funny, especially consider the fact that I'm an atheist and I don't believe in God. But I grew up with those um, superstitions and they still kind of like things I uh, do or don't let other people do. So here we go. There's the list of uh, uh, Soviet superstitions that I'm familiar with. Number one, whistling in the house. So I want to specify it's totally okay to whistle outside. Outdoors, no problem. But if you whistle in the house, that means that it's going to be whistle sound in your pockets. You will never have money. So you're going to be broke if you keep on whistling in the house. So I actually don't like the sound of whistling. So if my kids or my wife are whistle, I ask them politely, sometimes not politely, hey, can you please stop whistling, go outdoors and whistle there. It's just that thing bothers me. So whistling in the house is a bad idea. It's a, one of the superstitions that we had. Number two, during the parties, you know, usually in Soviet Union when people get together for birthdays, or some anniversaries, uh, weddings, whatever, you know, you have alcohol on the table. So another superstition, you don't, never ever leave empty bottle on the table. So for example, if you pour the drinks and you have empty bottle, you don't put it on the table. You need to put it somewhere out of the way on the floor, but you don't put it back on the same table. And the reason why if you have, you're going to have uh, empty bottles on your table for the rest of your life, so you're going to be broke again. So it's a bad, bad omen to have an empty bottle on the table. Take it off the table, put it away. Number three, that's kind of probably international superstition. But if the black cat cross the road while you're walking or riding the bike, it's a bad luck. So you try and then beat the cat so he doesn't cross your path or you pick some other route. Um, also, another way to avoid bad luck if you have to cross what the cat crossed you um, if you just have no other way to go uh, you need to find the button on your pants or your shirt and hold it while you walk across the black cat's path and this way you kind of protect yourself from bad luck so black cat crossing the road in front of you that's for bad luck number four it's of course related to the villages and you know there is nothing like that will happen in the city, even in the Soviet Union. But if you walk on the road and the lady crosses the road in front of you carrying empty buckets, so she goes to the well to get water. So if she walks with the f water, you know, buckets full of water, it's, f it's good. But if she crosses your path and she carries empty buckets, that's kind of like bad luck they won't be good or you like you're gonna lose money so uh, a lady crossing in front of you with empty buckets uh, it's for bad day number five it's kind of weird i'm trying how to explain it to you guys but you know sometimes electric posts uh, they will look in the shape um, it's not like a single pole there'll be double poles so it'll be one vertical and one on the angle kind of supports the main pole so it's a bad idea to walk under that uh, connection between two poles. It's just just bad luck. So uh, you try not to do it. You just kind of walk around it. You don't go under those. Number six is singing songs in the house really early in the morning. It's just for bad luck. Your day will go to waste. You won't you won't be successful in that day. I don't know why that exists, but I remember one time it actually I messed up my my parents' trip. We would say um, it was in the village. We were heading back to Kiev, and my summer vacation was over, so we had to get up like super early in the morning, about 5 a.m., to catch the bus. 
to go from the village into the town and then we had another bus uh, so I was uh, happy I was singing and I started singing my mom stopped me from singing but then our trip went really bad uh, they were sold out on tickets we got stuck in one town uh, on the bus station then we barely got to the next uh, town in Chernigov and they were completely out of any tickets uh, going to Kiev we end up taking bus opposite ways to get to some train station and only after that late at night we got home so my mom kind of like you see this is what because you were singing early in the morning we had such a horrible trip you don't sing early morning in your house when you wake up superstition number seven uh, if you put the t-shirt inside out you know when you dress in the morning and you put the t-shirt inside out or short uh, it's for bad luck you all day will be inside out uh, so if that happens, the only way you can kind of cancel your bad luck, you need to take it off, you know, and then you need to go and look in the mirror. And by looking in the mirror, you cancel that bad luck and then you put the shirt properly and then you're fine. Number eight, it's kind of different superstition, but if the person uh, passed away in your house or apartment, uh, first thing you do, you cover all the mirrors with black fabric. And it's because uh, otherwise you might see the dead person reflecting that mirror because according to some uh, beliefs, if the person passed away, their spirit uh, will be around for seven days and you can actually see it in the mirror and then it gets scared or something like that. So people were always covering mirrors in the house with the dead person with, on, with the black fabric. Superstition number nine. So after you had a meal, sometimes you have crumbles on the table you never ever collect them you know or scoop them off the table with your bare hand it's for bad luck uh, but it means that for the rest of your life you'll be collecting uh, crumbles off the table you will never have a good food so you need to use the sponge or you know some kind of cloth cleaning cloth but you don't uh, clean the table from crumbles with your hand it's for bad luck number 10 it's kind of childish superstition but when i was a kid and for example, we'll be wrestling or uh, so if some person laying on the ground, you don't step over them. This is really bad thing because that if you step over somebody, they will stop growing. So that was quite happened quite often that, you know, kids will be wrestling or something. So someone laying on the ground and someone steps over them and he screams, hey, step back. So you need the way to cancel the, this bad luck. Uh, you need to step right back over the kid. And then he'll be okay. He'll be continuing growing. So stepping over the person while it's laying on the ground, that person will stop growing. So it was very important for kids uh, because they don't want to stop growing, right? Number 11, that was mostly for ladies. Uh, so if you have a party, uh, ladies, single ladies, they'll try not to sit at the corner. So if the corner of the table uh, kind of pointing towards you, so you're sitting at the corner, it's bad luck you will be single. You will never get married. So the... Kind of if you polite, you will take that spot for the lady. Or if she is married, she doesn't care anymore. But you don't sit at the corner because uh, you will be single forever. Now I also want to mention those uh, kind of standard superstitions about Mondays. they really kind of bad day. Because uh, in Soviet Union, weeks start from Monday, not Sunday. So Mondays was like usually a bad day to start anything new. You better wait for Tuesday. Just not a kind of good luck day. And we also had superstition about number 13, but not as hardcore as here in America. That I heard stories that sometimes they skip the 13th floor. So if you go into the elevator, you see, you know, 12th floor and then 14th floor. There'll be no 13th floor. We kind of like, yeah, thir number 13, it's unlucky number, but we never had anything like, oh, I don't want to live in apartment number 13 or 13th floor, stuff like that. Although, actually, I have a, a good joke about uh, number 13 and 13th floor. I believe I already mentioned there was a lot of jokes, anecdotes in Soviet Union about um, situations when husband is gone, you know, uh, when it was a business trip. So his wife, she's bored, so she's bringing a boyfriend, a lover, we call it Lubovnik. And then husband suddenly comes back earlier. And then, of course, there's situations, you know, a guy trying to escape from the apartment so his girlfriend won't get busted. So there's a joke about uh, such situations. So the 
her wife and her lover, they in bed, sleeping happily. Suddenly, there's a knock on the door, doorbell, and she hears the voice, Honey, I'm home. I came home early. Uh, please open the door. Uh, so she's lady, she's horrified. She's like tossing all the clothes into her lover. She's like, go ahead on the balcony and jump. And the guy look at her like, are you crazy? You are on the 13th floor. She's like, this is a really bad time to be superstitious. Just go ahead and jump, please. So this is a joke about 13th floor. Okay, so that was my uh, short story about superstitions in Soviet Union. It's superstitions that I'm familiar with and actually that affect my life. Um, so I hope uh, you enjoy the show. And there's probably hundreds of more different things that uh, Soviet people were superstitious about. But this is exactly what I'm superstitious about. And uh, this is what I still, you know, annoy my kids and my wife by not letting them whistle in the house and taking... Don't let him have an empty bottle, sit on the table and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the show and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.